and in my circumstance, it's either purpose or love. It's not just love, it's mm -hmm. purpose and love. Mm -hmm. And the irony, when you really do this with a feminine being, the irony is she wants nothing more than to surrender fully into love. And the most terrifying thing on the planet for her to do is to surrender fully into love. <laughs> So as you're guiding her and feeling into her heart and how to serve her in her own growth, you know, as we're trying to do for you guys, but you do that for her, she's going to be terrified where you want to bring her if you're doing a good job. You're going to ask her to be bigger than she is. You're going to ask her to be more radiant than she is. You're going to ask her to be more loving than she is. You're going to ask her to be fiercer than she is. You're going to ask for all of her fullness and it's going to be terrifying for her to do that so feeling into her growth expect as you shepherd this woman into her fullness she's going to resist you every step of the way Fuck. to find that fullness is a part of herself has to annihilate entirely for her to surrender completely into love annihilation London talks about it constantly, this full cervical orgasm that women, some women are able to achieve comes from an experience of complete a letting go, annihilation, no holding on whatsoever. So you're guiding her into that annihilation in so many different ways, it's terrifying. So having a regard and a respect for that, how, that scared, how scary that is for her, and also not letting her be any less than that. That's the asana. From the, from the other view is how do you hold that for and demand that level of depth and love for both of you? 